guys welcome back we are doing something a little bit different today something i've been wanting to try for a while now taking bryson's advice and i'm playing the front tees at my local club playing from the 43s i normally play from the 57s i'm still gonna try play relatively smart golf i don't know how many greens i could hit from the 43s with my driver so i'll see how it goes maybe it'll be a little bit too tempting so it should be good weather's looking nice yeah let's get it Okay, it should be fine. Alrighty, maybe not the best start so far. I'm already in the right. Yeah, let's hope it gets better. Pin is back left at 123 meters. Wind is into me. I think I just want to try to hit it in the middle of the green and it'll sort of roll down to the right. Easy swing. I don't have to punish this ball. Middle of the green, but it rolled a little bit left. All right, putting is going to be key today. It's going to go a little bit right to left. Keep going, keep going. Sit. Oh, just missed. All right. Bogey start. Not the best start considering we're playing the 43s, but. Hopefully I can make a couple of birdies to bring back the score. So there is water at about 200 meters. So I'm going to take my five iron and see if I can get just right of this bunker, just over the bunker and have it trickle down. Nice and easy. I don't have to smash it. I'm going to aim for that, those, that white tree right in the middle. Perfect, bit of a baby draw, so happy with that. The course is looking beautiful at the moment, nice and green here, close to the end of the season. It's getting a little bit chilly. Alrighty, we got 56 meters. That for me is a very soft 60 degree, half swing. Slope down to the right, so I'm gonna try it landed middle, middle right. That had a ton of spin on, which was nice. It just sat right, but it didn't roll down the hill, unfortunately. So I'm going to have a little bit of a putt downhill, but should be good. So why am I doing this? Well, part of the reason is that it's, it's nice to feel what it feels like for the pros. If you're hitting a decent drive or, you know, for us amateurs, it's not always the likelihood that we're going to get close enough to the green to be hitting in with the short iron. But so doing this, I should be able to but then close enough where short iron is all I need to get in and hopefully close to the pin. The problem is you're still going to make those, uh, those long putts. Well, let's hope shorter putts because I'm hopefully getting it closer. Not too bad. What's that? I mean, it didn't trickle down, unfortunately. Still quite a long putt. Alrighty, this is the part of my game that really needs to improve. I shouldn't have any excuse for having three putts. Because I should be getting my irons in nice and close. So, yeah, hopefully that works out. Sit. Okay, pretty well judged. It's a decent putt. Alrighty, part train. At about 200 meters, 195, we've got water. So I want to try to hit a 185 shot. It's into the wind. I'm going to have to hit my five iron. I'm scared if I hit my, my hybrid, it's going to go too far. Something I want to work on a little bit more is slowing down my backswing and trying to get a little bit more, more length in it. This is maybe a, a good moment for me to, to think of that and to put it in play. Looks like I'm a little bit short from where I was hoping, but we got 75 to a bunker that I don't want to go into. The pin is at 167, there's a bit of wind, so I want to carry about 175. So I'm going to take my five, I'm going to aim towards the bunker a little bit, because if I'm short, then it's just a chip on. Oh, that was striped. 
I mean, amazing shot. Ended up going a little bit left, so I'm middle of the of the green, but it's a long putt in, a long eagle putt. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this more vlog style, as opposed to me hitting and then narrating. Maybe it gives you a little bit of insight into a normal game of golf. And uh, yeah, they'll be great to know. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. Currently at about 230, so slowly building up. This is quite a monster putt. 20 meters, quite a big one. It's going to go fast downhill. It's eagle putt, very left, and try to get it in that pocket on the left and let it come down. Speed is everything here. Looking good. Come on. Oh, sit. That was really good. I'm happy with that. Okay, for birdie. Gotta sink this one. Alrighty. Two putts. Really good two putts. Okay, back to even. So we went par, we went bogey, par, birdie, all square. Let's see if we can break par. Looking good. Sit. Oh, I think the distance was spot on. But uh, we'll see if it's close to the hole or not. I just teed off from the wrong tee box. Forgot that I'm playing the um, the front. So we've got 81 meters, wind behind. It's probably playing about 75. So I'm going to go 60 degree and pretty much a full 60. Come right, come right. Spin. Oh, I think I went too long. I think my first shot might have been better. So my first one was actually closer, but we're playing the one I intended. So 50 degree, just going to try and bump it up here. Hopefully stop at the hole, try a little bit to the right and then let it come back left. Sit, come back left. Oh, it's money, 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 money. I mean, I would have liked a little bit closer, but let's not be greedy. If I can get a par on this par three, I'm very happy. Okay, up to my putting once again. I'm going to go just right of middle and just try jam it in. I need to be a bit more forceful with my putts. Ha! Oh, okay, so from the 43s, we are even. So the logic from playing from the front tees, obviously it's a shorter distance, which means you can take less club. And generally speaking, you should be more reliable with your 7 iron than your 5 iron, or you're more reliable with your 5 iron than your driver. It goes to reason that if it's a shorter distance, you're more likely to have a, a smaller dispersion pattern and thereby being able to have shorter or fewer putts into the hole. So we're putting that to the test today. Um, so far, so good. I'm four holes in and I'm even. I've already had one birdie, which is, which is pretty awesome. Um, I mean, if I have a good round, I'm getting, if I'm lucky, two or three birdies. But uh, quite often, I don't even get one birdie. So it's, it's quite nice to make a birdie. Even just to get the feeling that you're putting for birdie is quite nice. So yeah, on to the fifth hole. Hole number five, we've got water. Well, not water. It's, a, it's just a, a hazard at about 185, 190 meters. I'm looking to hit my five iron again, most likely. Probably going to pitch around 170 as a little bit of a headwind and then trickle down a couple of more meters, maybe a little bit less, but that should be should be good. Then we should have a, a 54 degree into the green. Don't forget to clean your balls, eh? It's nice to have clean balls. Right, bit of wind. Let's see, I'm just going to go just over this middle bunker. I'll probably hit a slight draw, maybe. Oh, carry. All right, should be good. Oh, what an evening. Guys, 
I'm on a funny lie here on this little tuft, which is quite random. Wow, it's really looking beautiful now. The sun, everything. All right, so this is, wind's a little bit into me. I've scanned 88 meters. It's a little bit up, so I think just a, a solid 54 should be fine. I'm gonna aim just a touch left of the flag. Oh, it's looking so good with that sunlight. Okay, here we go. Good swing, Alex, nice and easy. Sit, come down. All right, not bad, probably about four meters from the pin. Happy with that. All right, looks like I trickled just off the green, but I am happy with that nonetheless. Once again, it's all about distance. I just don't want to go on the low side because it's it breaks a lot more than what it looks like. Oh, sit. Oh, this wind. That was almost great. Let me see my ball. I'm going to stick it just right of the flag, maybe in line with the right edge. Oh, I pulled that. Come on, Alex. Let's redo this. Okay, bogey. I think I need to relax a little bit in my putting strike. I'm, I think I'm getting a little bit tense. <laughs> I think when you're playing the forward tees, it really is. I mean, it's, it just becomes blatantly obvious where your problems are. And for me, putting has been, let's say my putting hasn't been the best. And um, like now I'm missing this putt. I mean, I think I just need to put more time into, into actually working on my putts. Um, I haven't for quite a while, and I've actually got a new putter. And I haven't really practiced with my new putter either. I mean, getting those four, five, six foot putts in is, is absolutely crucial for good scoring. So, the nice thing is, it shows there's, there's potential for improvement. I've just got to, I've just got to improve. <laughs> this hole is drivable, barely. I'm going to go for it. Probably not the smartest idea. But I really want to. Let's just say if this was a competition, I would not be driving. Oh, that's bombed. That's got a chance. I just drove the the green. Oh my god, that is sick. That is sick. I've I've obviously never tried this, and uh, I mean that drive was just. I'm very happy, guys. That was. <laughs> I am very stoked with that. I'm pretty much in the middle of the green. Um, I think the trace is also going to look sick on that. I got some good height. I've been getting some good height in my driver recently. Yeah, eagle putt. Sick, stoked. Let's see if you can see there. There's my ball. Nice. Alrighty, eagle putt. Let's see what we can do. Get a nice clean ball. Alright, it's gonna run from left to right, uphill. Speed has got to be good, nice and relaxed, easy. Come on, go in, go in. Oh, oh, oh man, that was so close. That was a good read. Okay, so I just jam it in, nice and easy. Oh, nicely done, birdie. Drive the green, narrowly miss an eagle putt. Birdie, here we go. Back to even after previous hole where I made a bogey. So all square, three holes left. Let's see if I can break par on the front nine. 50 meters to the flag. Wind's a little bit from the front. I mean, a fair bit. I don't want to go long. A little bit short is fine because, uh, I mean, I won't go so short to go in the water. I'm probably going to, I'm going to try hit a 50. I'm going to go straight at it. Hopefully it's got some spin on it. Nice and easy. Come on, that's money. Oh, spin, guys. Birdie putt. Let's do this. 
not as close as I would have liked. But I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that. So at least it's a birdie putt. It's where there's a little bit of a break to the right and then definite break to the left. I think it's, uh, I mean, it feels very little right to left here. And then over here, it feels kind of flat. So I think I'm going to aim about one cup to the right. I can just get my pace right, I'll be happy with that. Oh, I mean, it didn't turn at all. But par, I'll take it. Happy with the par. Always happy with the par, especially on a par three. Scores are even. We've got a par four. I'm going to go with my six iron. I just want to get beyond that bunker on the left. Um, yeah, my hybrid and my driver just won't work on this hole. So all I want to do is get it up into distance. We've got about 110, which is a, a nice uh, 50 degree for me into the green. Perfect shot. Becomes a lot easier when you're hitting these uh, these irons that are way more controllable than my driver. I mean, normally I'd be going from the 57s and then you try hit with your hybrid just before these bunkers, but then you've still got a, a six iron into the green. Now I'll have a 50 degree. Should be way easier. 91 meters, that's my 54. I'm going to aim for the flag because I know it'll, it'll fade just a touch, most likely. If I go a little bit left, it's not the end of the world. I just don't want to be too far right and not have enough distance because the green slopes down on the right. I want to be in the top half, top third at least. It's got to have some spin on it. Sit. Oh, I got a little bit lucky there. It uh, went way lower than, than normal, but it had a lot of spins and it just got up and then spun and stuck. So nice. Guys, in my previous video, the uh, five tips that you need to know to play better golf, something like this. You need to know how far your clubs hit and uh, what the dispersion is. I knew with about a 85% swing, I know it's going to go roughly 90 to 100 meters. And I did miss hit it a little bit and it, uh, it was pretty much spot on. There we go. Now I've got that for birdie putt. Can't complain. I'm not even sure when my ball checked, to be honest. There's no mark on the green yeah there's a small chance it even landed a little bit short and then just off the green but uh yeah oh, this feels a little bit right to left over there and a little bit right to left as well i'd rather miss high than miss low pretty that was awesome that worked out perfectly yeah glad i didn't miss the hole because maybe it was a little bit hot but um We've just finished hole number eight, minus one, playing from the fronties, the 43s, one hole left to go. Let's see if we can do this. All right, guys, I'm going to do something that I might regret. I'm going to hit my driver and I'm going to try to go over this tree. It's, it's quite high, but uh, I'll see if I can get over and hit a bit of a fade and see where I come out. Oh, shoot. I went a bit straight. I might have to drop. Oh, well. With high risk comes high reward. And, um, yeah, I think my balls are flying a little bit straighter than I'm, than I'm used to. So I was hoping to fade that one a bit more. I've probably run out of fairway, uh, which means I'll have to drop. All right, guys. Looks like I'm dropping. I did hit over, unfortunately. But it was fun nonetheless. Now I'm going to try to stick it close up and down. And if I can up and down, I finish one under. This is going to be tough. All right, so I scanned 66 meters. There's a bit of a breeze. It's going to be my 60 degree. It rolls down quite a bit on the other side. Let's see what I can do. Come left. That's not too bad. All righty, walking up to the ninth green. I'm guessing it's about nine feet. If I two putt, then I've played even. If I one putt, then... Uh, I'm under par for the round. Oh, it looks more like 15 feet. So yeah, let's see. Maybe even 20. Okay, it's definitely coming down to the left over here. There's like this mound going a little bit left. There's this ridge that I'm on. Yeah, I'm going to have to go pretty much putt. I almost want to say three foot, three feet left.
Oh, wow. Okay, well, I saw the line coming past. Whew. All right, guys, there you have it. Bogey on this hole, two putted, resulted in even for the nine. So not too bad. I think, what, two birdies along the way? A couple of mistakes. Maybe a little bit risky if I just parred this hole. Played the safe game. But who knows? You never know. Cool. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one. Cheers.